Hey there guys, it's Mr. Blaze with another cool tech tip. For today's tech tip, what I'm gonna show is how to edit a Google Meet recording such as the one I'm making right now and to upload it and edit it in Edpuzzle to make it more of a useful resource for students. And you make good use of the Chromebook and the camera you have on the Chromebook. So it makes setup really easy. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, how to get the Meet recording up there. So I'm just gonna present my screen. So in my Google Drive, what I'm going to do is just Google, just search in your drive for Meet recordings. This folder will come up. I'm gonna select this video here. I'm going to right click on it. It's like download. Takes a moment. And once it is downloaded, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my other tab, my YouTube. Make sure you have a YouTube account. And then you're gonna come over to the create option, select create, select upload. And once the upload screen appears, you're gonna select your file, download, select your video. And this is just a test, so I'm gonna um, kind of leave it like this. Call Ed Puzzle test. Give a description here. All right, we can add a thumbnail later. I have a playlist here already set. Yes, it's made for kids. Select next, nothing here. Invisibility, here's where you need to make sure it is set to public. Then you're going to select publish. You can see it's processing it right now. It takes a little while for YouTube to process depending on who's um, on their site. Publish. Close. Now I go back to my videos page here. It's going to show me my progress here. And what I can do is get a shareable link. And once that is up to YouTube, it's processed and uploaded, we'll be able to edit it in um, Edpuzzle. So I will come back in just a minute to show you where we're at. Hi there. Uh, now that um, our YouTube video has finished uploading, now we're just going to go back to Edpuzzle. Or let's go back to YouTube, rather, first. And here is the video that finished. I'm going to select here, three dots, select get shareable link. Then what you're going to do is I'm going to go back to um, Edpuzzle. And let me switch to my entire window. And now I'm over in Edpuzzle. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to go to my content. I'm going to select add content, create a video. And let's see if we search here. And I, I entered in the link. My video. Here is the video. We'll test it out. Hey there. I have a couple of quick questions for you guys. 
So there is my video. I'm going to let it play so you can hear the audio of the question. And I'm going to show you how to add a question into Edpuzzle. So this is the screen where you, you can trim it, the video by just moving the sliders in or out. If there's any, un, to get rid of any unwanted um, video length. Once you're done with that, um, you can then come over to uh, the questions tab and note that the video is saved automatically. Over here in the questions tab, I'm just gonna let the video play. Hey there, I have a couple of quick questions for you guys. Could you please name what the primary colors are? I'll give you a few seconds to think. So I'm gonna wait to add a question. If you didn't guess them already, they are red, yellow, and blue. So I can add the question in here, or I could go back to before when I ask the question. So I'm gonna select, um, let's see, multiple choice question. Ask, what are primary colors? And here, when you an enter your answers, you're just gonna uh, make sure that you have a green check next to the actual one that is correct. So I'm gonna put uh, red, yellow, and blue. Mark that as the correct one. Here I'm gonna put blue. You do not need four answers, choices, but you could, I'd like to um, add more distractors for the students. Add one more. And then once you're done, make sure the one is checked with the green that is correct. It won't let you save unless you do that. Now you notice here, the when I back the video up, if you didn't guess them already, they are red yellow and blue and right there the video pauses and the question pops up and the students will see this screen next what are the secondary colors again i'll give you a few seconds to think about so i'm going to add the um, questions in here because it's before the actual question you can add open-ended questions here like this, but those will not be graded automatically. So I, um, that will just take a little more time for you to grade it. If you want automatic grading, then you can select multiple choice. So again, here I'm gonna add in the question. Um, I'll put a few choices. Add one more choice. Make sure the one that's correct is checked off green. Select save. And you can continue adding questions until you are done. But I'm done now. You notice it shows the right choice here. Select continue. Morning. If you did want to cut the video down more, you could. If you wanted to add a voiceover, you could just select start recording. And if you wanted to use your own voice, like if you copied a video from YouTube and you wanted to sub in your own voice over the top of it, that's fine too. Um, I'm going to select finish. And, and here we would just select, um, you can play it through the first, you can go full screen, you can adjust the audio. We can assign it, you can duplicate it, or delete it. Let's say you want to assign it. So the last part of the Ed Puzzle is sharing it to your Google Classroom. So to do that, 
All you have to do is select the edit puzzle you'd like to share or assign to your class. And here's my completed ed puzzle. I'm going to select assign. And then I'm going to select um, add new class. You can either make up a generic name class without importing it from Google Classroom and, and post the link to your Google Classroom and then let students sign up on their own. Or you can import the class by selecting Google Classroom and select the class you want. And here it is. I'm just going to select the generic class I have. Select import class. And then I'm going to select assign. And that will automate. And now I select post on Google Classroom right here. You do also have a go live option. If you're doing a Google Meet and you want to use this for Google Meet, you can go live. Um, otherwise, you would just click post on Classroom. And then you can see like all the progress made right here for each student. So that's Ed Puzzle. And hopefully you'll find a good use to have the Google Meet edited and being used in a different way by just recording messages. Thanks so much.